It is every child's basic right, regardless of background or ability. Access to a meaningful education should be available to all children. The No Child Left Behind Act, which created stringent standards for all states in reading and math, was created to help ensure that. But since its inception in 2002, its effectiveness has been widely debated. Standardized testing has become a controversial topic and has raised many concerns among educators and policymakers. Achievement for the sake of achievement doesn't accomplish anything. And that's what standardized testing does. It actually focuses in on just having numbers as an indicator of how much a kid knows. The problem with standardized testing is that it doesn't find out what individuals do well. And what individuals do well is what helps them be successful in life. The basic problem is that life is not standard. Life is completely unpredictable. And the people who do best in life are the people who are able to come at it from their strengths, from their enthusiasms, from their interest. And, and the kind of memorize and forget curriculum that we've created in schools with, the, with this sort of robotic expectation you'll spit back what we've told you, not only does it not encourage enthusiasm, creativity, initiative, it actively discourages it. Educators are finding that students across the country struggle to prepare for these tests, only to end up frustrated when their efforts far exceed their achievements. Poor test scores often lead teachers and parents to focus on a child's inabilities rather than areas in which they excel, leaving many students feeling inadequate. Schools, parents and teachers make a common mistake. They think that by focusing on a child's weaknesses, they're, they're helping that child get better. Well, what they're really doing without meaning to is they're making that child in general less confident, less enthusiastic, less excited about anything. What you want to do first and foremost is identify a strength promote and develop that because then you'll be creating confidence, excitement, enthusiasm for anything else that child might attack. When you just focus on their weaknesses, there's no time left over to work on what their strengths are. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't try to help them through their challenges. What I'm saying is quite different. It's if you're going to help them through their challenges, the best way to do that is to figure out what they're strong at so they can focus in on that. Because schools are focused on the remediation of weaknesses, students are often left unaware of their own strengths. When repeated efforts to improve a student's weaknesses never gain ground, schools begin to give up on them as students, leaving their futures undetermined. Most of the time I would ask for help, but a lot of the time the teachers would just be like, oh, try to figure it out on your own, you can do it. The one thing that I felt like my school didn't really help me in is in testing. And I just don't know how to take tests and I don't know how to study for tests. And that's basically my weak spot. I feel like it's unfair because they give you questions that you have never heard of in your life. And it's like, if you haven't learned it, then what are you taking from the test? And it doesn't make sense at all. Despite the fact that students learn in many different ways, schools continue to teach standardized ways that aren't suited for the method in which many learn. It's a process that is causing students across the nation to rapidly fall through the cracks. Many students drop out due to boredom. They seek real-world problems to solve, not just test questions. And I think we all know the system is very broken. Well, Jennifer Fox, with her book, Your Child's Strengths, really has a model that everyone can copy. But the simple idea that it rests upon is the idea that by identifying strengths, talents, interests early on, you will be able to promote and develop them over a lifetime. And the strengths identified in the book are relationship strengths, learning strengths, and activity strengths. The idea being that each one of these categories has something that energizes you. So a strength isn't what you're talented at. A strength is what energizes you. It what makes you feel like you want to keep doing that thing. And when you focus on those things, that's when you work hard. That's when you find success. That's when you can achieve. Not when you just focus on remediation of weaknesses. The problem with schools today is that we don't even try to figure out what those things are. Once we figure out what those things are, kids can develop a pathway for their future. At the Purnell School for Girls, each girl is given the gift of discovering what she is truly passionate about doing. Purnell believes that every student has a gift to share with the world. Purnell is for girls who haven't met their potential at other schools. For whatever reason, whether it's social or academic, the other school has not been able to find that gift in them. Purnell School has started the Strengths Movement by helping girls discover their talents and to learn to solve problems creatively through its award-winning Affinities Program. The Affinities Program is the first strengths-based curriculum in the world. 
Every girl at the school takes a four-year course to identify her activity, learning, and relationship strengths so that she can figure out what she wants to do with her life. I like the Affinities program because it's helped me find my strength and show me that I am good with other people and that I could do something in the future like be a teacher. There are no back rows at Purnell School. The small classroom environment at Purnell support and challenge students in a way geared to what works best for girls. Kids really get a sense of belonging here. That's really important in a school, is that everyone feels as though they belong in their essential part of the community. On the Purnell campus, girls find the strategies and confidence to move beyond labels and toward learning success. Purnell's curriculum is designed to challenge students and prepare them for college along with life. I had a wonderful time at Purnell. The teachers were interested in me as a whole person and what I wanted to do and finding what I wanted to do. That was the real issue before I got to Purnell because I didn't know what I wanted. And Purnell helped me find that. What the school does for kids is it gives them a future where they can feel meaningful, like they're making a good contribution, and like they're doing something that makes them feel as though their life has value. Purnell emphasizes that all students are capable of learning and maintains a commitment to creating a wide variety of educational opportunities and fun beyond the classroom. To find out more about Purnell School, visit purnell.org.